Oh. All right, what's going on guys? Your boy Tony Shan. I'm back with another FL Studio stock plugin tutorial. If you're new to this channel, this is basically a series that I make beats only using FL Studio stock plugins or other easily accessible sounds. Um, but if you are a returning subscriber, first I'd like to apologize because I know my upload schedule has been kind of inconsistent. Um, I've just been in LA. I don't know if you can tell right now, but I'm in my apartment in LA right now. And um, it's kind of hard to like, it's kind of hard to find time just because of how hectic my schedule has been with music and I'm just working on a ton of other stuff. But I can promise you this, I will upload a new video once every week, at least at the minimum. So um, I'll still be keeping this channel popping. But today we're going to make an ASAP Rocky type beat. Um, it's going to be really cool, very dope. I've been meaning to make this tutorial for a long time, but there it is anyways, ASAP Rocky. Um, let's get straight to it and yeah. All right, so like I said, we're making an ASAP Rocky type beat. First, let's start with the synths. So this is gonna be more of like a trippy slash hard ASAP Rocky type beat. We're gonna be more experimental with the synths. We can find some cool sounds. And then we're gonna keep the melody relatively simple and then keep it relatively repetitive. But the idea is you wanna create like a trippy type environment with the synths. So um, yeah, let's find something. Um, I'm gonna pull up, go to flex actually, um, and I'll pull up like some type of lead. Um, in order to do that, it's really easy to navigate through this plugin. It's free for FL Studio users. Um, all you have to do is go to all. So these like all the install packs. Um, you can install more. These are all free to download right now. But let's go to tags and then just look for a lead. So. <laughs> I like this lead actually. I like this lead a lot. So this one's called Doctor Solo. So I'm gonna come up with like a. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry guys. I have acid reflux. If you guys just hear me moan randomly throughout this video, just know that I'm in a lot of pain, and it's not like an enjoyment type moan. It's like, a, oh, oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Um, let's see. Like I was saying, we gotta make a very catchy. Melodies, oh, bum, 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 bum. Um, 130 is like a pretty good BPM for this type project, so let's open a mission, um, you know. Well, maybe actually a little slower, maybe like 120, 20, maybe. Maybe just add a little bit of variation, right? And then just copy this. I wonder if there's, um, So we have this lead melody right now, which is pretty cool, but um, I want to make it sound a little bit more human. So what I'm going to do is option R or alt R if you're on PC, um, and that opens up your randomizer tool. And what it allows you to do is just manipulate the randomness of like certain elements. So in this case, if we do velocity, we could do pan a little bit just to make it sound like it's going back and forth. And then with pan, because you want it to go left and right, you want to hit bipolar. Um, so yeah. Let's accept that and that's what it sounds like with, with the randomization added. Okay, so now let's actually make the sound a little bit more interesting. Let's um route this to the mixer so just control l or command l if you're on mac and then you can turn down the input gain a little bit just because it's a little loud right now okay first thing i want to add is maybe like a chorus effect just to give it a little bit more texture to the sound and make it sound a little bigger because it's just gonna be this lead melody by itself so you do want to make it sound a little bit bigger and wider i 
I like this poly chorus effect. Next, I want to make it sound a little bit more wet, just because I want the lead to occupy more space since it's gonna be alone when when the song first starts, right? So, um, I think delay is great. Um, if you don't have fruity delay three for some reason, fruity delay two is just the same. Just apply the same concept. Um, your feedback is how much of it you know feeds back into the delay. So turn it down a little bit. And then I want a triplet delay just to give it a little bit more of an offbeat type thing, you know. And the wet knob is how much of the delay versus the original sound there is. So like the more you turn up the wet knob, the more of the delay is going to be mixed in. Next I'm going to add a reverb. Okay, um, next I want to just add a little bit of EQ. Um, first I want to do is cut the bass out because, um, as you can see, there's a little bit of like bass frequency just to clean up the bass area a little bit. And then also I want to turn down the treble. Otherwise, once the vocals come in, it's going to clash a little bit and it's going to sound a little bit messier. So we can turn that down. Just turn the overall thing down a little bit. And that's gonna be the main melody throughout the entire beat. <clears throat> I think the magic, the real magic of this is gonna be in the drums when you start working with the drums. So with the kick, we can find something like very, very hard, right? Like this gut shot kick from Tony Shan Slap Pack Volume 3 is perfect for this. In terms of drum kits, Tony Shan Slap Pack Volume 1, 2, and 3 are all free for you guys to download. It's in the link in the description below. All you have to do is give me an email to know where to send it to, and I'll send it to you for all three of these kits for free. Um, that's, you know, just so I make sure that all of my subscribers got access to top quality sounds. Tony Chan Slap Pack Volume 3, I've used it to like, for like a lot of actual songs that I'm working on right now. I've been sending it out to other producers too. It's pretty insane drum kit. Okay. <laughs> and snare, you want to be, you, you might want to find a more creative snare, like instead of just your regular 808 trap snare. Like this wood snare is perfect. And then close hats. Liquors. Okay, this is your most basic like three you know percussion sounds that we want to work with. So let's first lay down a snare because it's easy. And then maybe your um your hats. So for hi-hat, we can actually just record it in. So just hit the red button, hit notes and automation, like this red button and then notes and automation, and then hit the space button and you can basically just record using your keyboard. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to move these more on key. And the rest of the hi-hats, I'm not going to touch that much. I might just nudge it a little bit. So just, you know, highlight, hold shift, and then scroll. And that allows you to kind of nudge it a little bit. I'm not going to nudge it that much. I'm not going to quantize it perfectly to the grid because I want it to sound a little bit more human. And so it's okay to be a little off time, right? So this actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that's hard. Okay, now the kick. So same thing, we're gonna record the kick in. Notes an automation. Yo, yo, hey. That's so hard. This we can quantize just because we want the kick to kind of determine um the rhythm right so that's okay if you quantize it so just control q or command q if you're on mac and then boom a a and then next we can add some perks so this could work um
Yo. Okay, now let's just control Q, command Q, quantize, and then I think we're pretty good with the drums. Um, let's add an 808. The turtle sack 808 is pretty hard for this. So the 808, I kind of just wanted to follow the kick melody, so just control C, control V, or command C <laughs> if you're on Mac, and then um, that just copies the, the melody. Next, um, actually, first housekeeping things you want to do with the 808. Um, first is um, just you know check the pitch. So just Control E. Um, hit this flag button. Oh, it's already done for you. Um, it's tuned to C. Um, right. There's like a little bit of a bend up from a D sharp to C, but I mean it's mostly a C, so it's cool if you just leave it at C. But let's say um, it said like E instead, then you would just go here and then right click on E. But it's C, so we can leave it there. The second thing you want to do is maybe create this envelope just so you have more control over the note right i like doing that you don't have to do it if you don't want to but i like doing it <laughs> so now let's actually go into the melody so um just first control l or command l and now you have all the notes extended now let's go to the kick and just or now let's go to the main melody and just follow the notes of the melody right so really easy when you write your own melodies it's very easy because you have these handy tools that let you you know just add on top of what you created already so now let's pitch it down so control l or control down to pitch down an octave and let's hear what it sounds like Okay, let's add all these to the mixer. Um, why is it so big? That's what she said. Okay, um, <clears throat> control shift L to um link multiple tracks to your mixer, and then then hide it down a little bit. Next, we're gonna add a, just the eerie piano, um, just because pianos sound good literally on everything. Like you could have the worst beat in the world, in the world, and then you add a little nice piano melody on top of it, and it'll probably be like the second worst beat in the world or something, <laughs> or a better beat than um, a really crappy beat without a piano. So let's go back to flex, find a piano, um, go to tags, see piano, um, all. I want like a nice like verbed out piano like oh, oh 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 that's my acid reflux Ooh. oh yeah that's my acid reflux okay now um boom boom just like an e playing you know what i mean though like this and just repeat that repeat that repeat that um, control B, by the way, is the repeat button. Um, but yeah, let's just play that. Maybe make the noise a little shorter. That's very hard. Um, let's link this to the mixer. Actually, maybe a higher octave. So control up, yes, and I'm more reverb. Just make it very verbed out. Um, so really big size. Yes, turn this down. So now we're done with all our melodies and our drums. Now um, we also, you know, mix the beat enough to where it sounds good. Now let's arrange it and also find a way to do like a really cool intro, right? So first, let's just split the pattern into its own tracks. You can delete this and just highlight all of this faster. Um, 
boom, right there, right? <laughs> um, next thing I like to do is organize it a little bit. So I like putting my melodies on the top tracks and then the drums and the 808 lower. So that's just my, you know, I just like doing it that way. <laughs> so, so, so the intro, right? So with the intro, I want to make it sound like it's in like some outdoor, like, or some underground venue playing, right? Some like really cool environments. So what we can do is I'm actually going to go to the master track. I'm just going to put a reverb on the entire thing. And it's going to make it sound like it's just really crazy. Listen. What? Oh, it's on pattern mode. It sounds like it's coming from like a basement or something like. And then. Um, we're gonna automate this wet knob, so just link to or create automation clip here, and then listen. And then we'll right click here, and then just right click again, hold, and then turn it off here when the beat begins. I'm just add some variation, so maybe no perks here and no. Maybe turn it on here. Oh, that's way too wet. And that's the whole beat. ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky style. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm going to preview the beat for you guys like I always do, but before I preview the beat, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. I mean, I gave you, I hooked you up with one of like the hardest drum kits in the market right now. Like this is literally one of the hardest drum kits you're going to find. But I mean, it's okay if you don't subscribe. I'm just saying, you know, it really helps me out. So I really appreciate everyone who does. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play the beat and thank you guys so much.